Hi, it's Stephanie from The Uncultivated Life. I am here in my typical office setting, which is the car. It's my office setting for filming because I think I've told you before, it's the only place I have uh, quiet. I'm telling you today about our trip to New York City. Scott Samuel and I went there, I guess it'd be about a week ago, and we went on a media tour to meet with journalists and editors and um, wine critics. And we brought three of our wines. The, well, we only have three wines. The three wines that we're going to release this year. We brought our 2009 Riesling, called Leroy's Finest, the bone dry Riesling. We brought um, the 2008 Brunello-based wine called Gampo. And we brought the 2008 Tempranillo-based wine we call Home Place. I have to say, uh, we were, you know, obviously crazily nervous about it. You know, how will our wines be received? And, you know, obviously people have yet to say anything about them in public or on the record. But it was really, really successful. People were really surprised that first time grower, winemaker people like ourselves, um, who didn't have, you know, 20 years or more of actual experience under a belt um, produce the wines that we produce. Rather noteworthy wines and I think that was something that they were um, surprised at, didn't expect. And I think they were also taken by the fact that, you know, throughout all of um, this whole endeavor, Scott has stayed um, very strongly on a direct path and he has not wavered from his vision. And, and by doing things the way he thinks they need to be done, um, you know, we are um, doing it our own way, and um, which doesn't mean, you know, it hasn't been done before, but, you know, maybe some things that have been forgotten or, or um, not considered important anymore. Red wines, Gampo and Home Place, the camps were really split. They were either Gaga over Gampo or Gaga over Home Place. And it's really not surprising because they're completely different uh, kinds of wines. And it was always interesting, though, to see um, which individual would gravitate toward one more than the other. Um, our Riesling was, I think, really shocking for people because um, it's bone dry. And at one point, we had someone telling us that. Um, in their opinion, it was the best uh, Riesling uh, made in America, so um, we'll see where that gets us and what happens to that. We had a lot of fun with the James Beard um, people at the James Beard Foundation. It was great talking to them. It was really an honor to be in that house. I don't know if uh, many of you know, but James Beard is thought of as the father of American gastronomy, and I think uh, someone also referred to him as the Dean of American Cookery. So. One or the other, you know, the guy is a uh, is an authentic foodie and was the original foodie who really pushed the idea of um, regional food and um, the idea of local. Most of you know Savour Magazine. We uh, were very lucky and we scored some tickets to their uh, first annual uh, summer barbecue, which was out in Chelsea Piers in the Hudson River on Pier 66 on an old light, is that a light boat? I, it was an old boat that used to be used as a um, lighthouse, and now it is this cool, um, funky kind of spot. And that's where the party was. A little shaky, seasicky, but it was fun. But their barbecue, can you see that? Barbecue um, recipe book. Hunter Lewis, Tony Montuano, spoke with him a little bit. He had a fantastic sardine uh, recipe. And so we had a great time there, just sort of um, hanging out and watching, watching New York. Final uh, big uh, highlight was we had a Fast and Furious luncheon with David Rosengarten. He wanted to meet us at uh, the Grand Central Station Oyster Bar. And he thought our Riesling would pair well with oysters. It's something Scott had always been uh, talking about. Um, and, oh yeah, um, our Riesling with oysters was really special. And while we were there, they were also showcasing the green herring from Holland, I believe from the North Sea. David explained to me how uh, typically when herring is harvested, it's usually fatty, and this is um, younger um, herring um, earlier in the season, and it was fantastic. I could have eaten you know, 10 plates of it. Overall, it was a really great trip, and we'll see we'll see what happens i guess next steps for us are to get our wine labeled and get our website up and running and um cross our fingers 
And there you go. So uh, thanks for listening, and I'll talk to you again. Bye.